What were you just saying a second ago? I was just saying like it just it feels good. Like it feels chunky like my Steiner or my callus like glass of the callus is noticeably a scotch better than this, but like weight and just how it feels and how the like like it just it feels good. So do you got a pretty clear view of small objects out there? Yeah, I'm putting it up against shadowy shadows and stuff and you uh -huh. can still see the reticle. It's a fine reticle, but it's not so fine that it's useless. Yeah. And I'm at 12 power. How about general clarity of the glass? Clarity is kind of amazing actually. Like I'm pointing towards the sun right now and I'm not getting any flaring at all. And I'm not moving all the way either. And even at 8 power I can look at that horizon which is tough for my eyeballs but it's still. Using the M7 Steiner minute ago how does it compare to something that's like a top-notch tier one three four thousand dollar scope it's 95 percent as good probably yeah. it's it's pretty incredible, functionally actually. fine right functionally totally fine. how about um what's your impressions of the mechanisms here it's more tactile and uh, audible than my Steiner Military, probably, which is a way more expensive scope. Yeah. It's nice and big. If I was wearing mittens or gloves in the winter, I could still grab these big knobs, which mm -hmm. I appreciate. Everything is big and coarse and made for cold weather hands, which I appreciate. How about the just general feel overall? Heavy, stout, feels like a doorstop, which I I also like 34 millimeter tube. Yeah, it just it feels it feels like a two thousand dollar scope mm -hmm. to be totally honest. For the application it's designed for like where you have a dedicated precision rifle, right? Yeah. You're not gonna throw it over your back and climb up a cliff or something with it, right? Or could you? What do you think? Kind <laughs> of see your see your thinking there. I don't see why you couldn't if it didn't break. I mean all for carrying heavy stuff up hills and stuff. I, I, I wouldn't be afraid of it. Sure. <clears throat> it is not lightweight, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't build it for like a mountain rig, like an elk rifle kind of a deal. Mm -hmm. I, I probably would not do it for that mm -hmm. if weight was my primary concern. What the zero stop? It's kind of handy, huh? I'll be, uh... I like it. My only small gripe would be I wish it would go like 0.3 mils past zero. Right. Yep. Just for suppressor stuff and other weird stuff like that. But no, it's it's fine. And you just set it with the Allen key, which is kind of handy. It's super easy. Some of them are tricky, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're tough, man. They track good. Yeah. I'm excited to get it mounted up. Yeah. It should be pretty sweet. Get, get some more rounds on it. It's been around on a few different rakes so far. So we'll see what you think, man. Thanks for your initial impressions. Any last words on that deal? Okay, thanks man.